For me, particularly, design is, well, it is my life. <laughs> it's a reason to be. Where do ideas come from? I think every designer tries to make sure that he or she has the chance to, to take things in, almost being like a sponge for, for ideas and input. Walking through the archive of the Neue Sammlung, you almost get a confirmation of what design is all about. Industrial design is about the aesthetics of a, an object that's produced a certain amount of times. It's uh, the most amazing thing I've experienced in a very long time. You know, just these products that so many people have at home to see that there's a place for them where they're put in a context where they're sort of brought to the foreground for their their intrinsic qualities is is a real nice kind of show of appreciation for a designer's work and i think a museum is the biggest honor one can get is if one's work is brought to the level of art It's made to be used, it's made to be, uh, to be lived in, lived with. Nonetheless, I think, you know, when, when we as designers work on something, we always try to maybe achieve that, that extra level, that sort of soul or depth. There is behind the object a certain school of thought, if you will, and that school of thought is in, in many ways the combination of function and aesthetics, or the combination of function and emotions. And that, maybe, is what design is all about. to design. When I first started studying industrial design, I uh, saw what um, the students in, industrial, in car design were doing, and I thought, that's it, that's for me. The process of car design is what really fascinated me, these really fantastic sketches and uh, the idea of modeling and actually seeing in 3D what you sketched was something that uh, felt, you know, so gratifying. My role as head of BMW automobile uh, design is, is a little bit to be like the, the coach, if you will. Try and get the best design out of uh, a team of, of fantastically talented designers, you know. They're the ones, let's say, out on the field scoring the goals. M my role is just to find the right strategy Seeing a car that we designed as a team on the road is truly emotional, you know, it's something you put in years of, of sweat and tears, let's say, into it and, uh, and when you see it and it looks good, <laughs> there's a real pride that your ideas, your vision, your passion, your desire has actually made it into reality. BMW stands in terms of design first and foremost, I think, for precision. Precision in line work, precision in graphics, also precision in proportion. Everything needs to look precise because a BMW drives very precisely. The other aspect, which is just as important for BMW design, is emotion. These are products that convey a certain joy of driving, a certain pleasure of driving. 
everything needs to be a, a reward in a way. Uh, you know, when a leather is, is put on a steering wheel or on a door or on a seat, it's made with a lot of perfectionism, let's say. It needs to be a tactile experience, you know. The exterior of a BMW needs to feel that surface quality. BMW is a company that builds cars that are meant to be enjoyed. I don't know if being surrounded by beautiful objects makes you a happier person, but maybe it makes it easier. Good design is, is maybe a it's not just beauty, it's beauty and function. You want this beautiful object. And then on top of that, it works perfect. And all of that seamlessly improves your life. The challenge for the future of BMW design is also, I think, what's been our strength. It's authenticity. What we do is trying to bring the values of what BMW stands for to the forefront, to the surface. Dynamic, the values of sportiness, values of elegance. In the future, the values of sustainability, the values of efficiency, the values of responsibility. And our challenge will be to keep those values uh, as essential factors for what design stands for.